Sony brought a bunch of us YouTubers and Sony professionals together out in the wilderness in Oregon this past week, and I was fortunate enough to meet up with Manny Ortiz to talk about being an introverted photographer. Side note, Manny has a brand new retouching tutorial out. Check it out in the description below if you're interested. Manny and I also went out on a shoot so I could see a little bit of his behind the scenes process when it comes to working with models. So I feel like I had all the odds stacked against me when it came to being a photographer because I realized I like to shoot people. It's just something that I liked. I liked the instant gratification of just showing them the image and then seeing them happy. So, yeah. but the problem was you had to work with people. <laughs> you know, that, that's the problem. You actually have to you actually have to communicate with them and work with them. And that's when I started to build some social skills. It's almost like a fake it to make it kind of thing where yeah. I kind of like went into every photo shoot and had a fake confidence and a fake like. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. But in reality, I am so like, I'm cringing in the inside. I'm so I'm so self-aware of what I'm doing. And I yeah. feel like, okay, Manny, why'd you say that? That was dumb. And I feel super awkward yeah. trying to be social. I feel like everything that I'm doing is wrong. So yeah. I, don't know. I began in music. So like, as a music photographer, it was very easy for me to just be in a loud place by myself with my like little 50 and taking yeah. photos. Yeah. Um, and then the bridge into weddings and the bridge into actually communicating with people is like super challenging. All right, so quick tip is when working with models and her, she looks like she knows what she's doing. And those are the best ones because yeah. it makes your job so much easier. What I normally do is ask them to give me their favorite poses. And they usually have like a little, right? You have a couple of favorite poses that you like to do. Yeah. You know which ones look good, you know, like your go-tos. At least, yeah, your go-to looks. I usually ask them that and they can kind of free flow and do their thing. Yeah. It takes a little bit of pressure off you and, and they know their best angles and what makes them look good. Make sure you look, try to, yeah, try to look at the camera. I like your, how intense your eyes are. One, two, three. Right now I'm doing a countdown because she can't hear the camera, the shutter. It's so quiet. The thing is, I, I didn't take any kind of cl special class for it. It's almost like you just have to, if you really want to do photography, if you want, really want to do portraits, you just have to, you just have to go in and do it. I wish I had another way of, yeah. you know, but if you want it enough, you'll do it. There are gonna be a lot of awkward moments during that time, but yeah. you're never gonna make progress if you don't actually do it. I call it, I call it faking it, cause I'm still not super confident, but yeah. I act like I'm confident that you just have to get in there and do it if you wanna get better at it. Yeah, one of the things that I found that helped me at least was early on I was very attached to the idea of just having lenses and gear and I felt that I could kind of get in a proper flow if I was just shooting with one lens and then as soon as I was like oh but what's the 24 look like here um, and I'd sit down at my bag and I'd change lenses I feel like that's when I kind of lost all my momentum and when I started shooting with like literally just an 85 um, I found that when I'm out there just with a camera and one lens that that's kind of my sweet spot that I can actually I guess maximize the use of my limited social abilities um, out there and it just makes my life easier I think. You have to have good light or else the composition wouldn't even matter especially if you're taking a portrait. If you have crappy light on her face it's not going to look good. So light is number one and um, then I would say composition, uh, textures, lines, leading lines. Um, in, in this case it's mostly about texture and having having this kind of outfit which is kind of a crazy outfit that they put on her you know um you don't want to shoot in the greens i noticed that didn't, just didn't work turn your body this way more like that yep and keep your hands like closer and like this yeah this is kind of a cute outfit it's like instagram -y. yeah you need the right background with it um can you face me directly now and kind of just do that yeah i want yeah just like that looking Looking right at me. One, two, three. Good. So now I got my composition, but now I have to get good light. So facing. Actually, the, the tones are so similar here. It's kind of. Oh, God, no. This is a bad, bad advice. Abort. I think I could. Let me see. It might just work, especially because if, if you editing, going for a more airy look, I think it, it'll work. So. And that was an airy kind of pose. That was perfect. Yeah, I want you to just, just have a little fun for this one, okay? And go ahead. It actually looks good. It looks good from here. It looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does look good yep. on, the, on the reflection. Yep, one, two. Any other advice for people that are just uh, 
just afraid of, I guess, communicating with people how to set up those first few shoots and get out there and start building a portfolio to get you confidence? Yeah, um, I, I say I would start with friends. Friends first. Yeah. Uh, I always started with friends and people that I knew. People that I didn't have so much pressure to like create because there's always a pressure to like, oh my God, what if they don't like the images? Or So just start with people that you know just to build up a certain, just a, just a little confidence in mm-hmm. in working with people, and then that's when I would um, start. I started doing paying gigs, and you know, it just started to. It took years. Yeah. This isn't something that you just get over. It <laughs> takes a couple. It takes years to finally just get comfortable and and be able to be confident with people. And like you said, you have those key pieces. Like talk about travel. Yeah. Like certain things. I ask. What I do is I ask people a lot of questions about them, yeah. and I just let them talk about themselves, and then that, that takes a lot of the social. Uh, pressure off me yeah but you know that's yeah you just have to you just have to get into it start with people that you know and just work your way into yeah. uh you know working with regular people yeah i find that even still to to this day that when i work with friends that we just have that rapport that the photos just look better like if i'm at the cottage and i take a bunch of photos of friends like usually those are like the best photos that i've taken um because we have kind of that rapport so you yep. find friends and even even still today like that's i feel like that's my go-to that if i ever need like a shoot or if i need a behind the scenes video it's always asking people that i already know yep. so um find those friends yeah all right friends see you next time from sony kando yeah <laughs> 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 <laughs>